Hello everyone and welcome back to my little corner of the world here on the ocean. We're in St. Thomas right now, which is a tiny island in the Northern Caribbean. The weather has been really shifty recently, raining a lot one day and then bright and sunny the next. I realize it's gotten really dry as we've sailed further north. The days of bushwhacking through the thick jungle are gone. But that's okay because the diving has gotten so much better. We've also met back up with a few of our boat friends, which has felt really good. My family always says it's not about the place, but the people, and I don't think that could be more true. We've had some really fun moments this week, and I'm excited to share them with you all. But before I do, I want to encourage you guys to subscribe if you aren't already, and continue watching the video. Hi guys, I have some really exciting news that I can't wait to share with you. So for the past couple months, I've had this dream to host trips that you can join me on. If you love adventure and experiencing new places and culture, then this is just for you. Instead of just watching my adventures, you will get to experience them with me. This is going to be a group experience and your feedback about the activities we do, where we go, your budget, all of that is going to be determined by a survey that you can click in my description. In order to make this trip possible with you guys, I need at least a hundred of you to fill out the survey. And I would personally love to host a trip in Switzerland, Norway, Iceland, somewhere in the mountains where there's like endless hiking and adventure, so much culture, good food. If this sounds like anything you're interested in, click the link in my description to fill out a small survey to determine where we get to go on an adventure. I look forward to it. Okay, so right now, me and a few of our boat friends are basically filling up this tube and we're going to go tubing. We do this a lot and it's kind of interesting because usually you go tubing behind a big big boat with a big motor but you can actually tube really well behind the dinghy <laughs> right but we're having some issues filling it up because i don't know why we're having issues but we're having issues we're getting there we've resulted to blowing it up ourselves yeah we've resulted to blowing it up ourselves <laughs> i don't even think i'm making a dent in it but you're doing great. Oh it's a beautiful, beautiful day. We are currently in St. Thomas. We're like not in the big city part, so it's wonderful. What happened? No, 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 no. No, we what? lost all the air. All the air. <laughs> Mom, what are you up to? I'm making you lunch right now. What are you making? Quinoa, black bean, cheese, tostada. Thanks, mom. That was so fire. I was just like, let's just do it. Just do it. You did it? <laughs> you did it? Beautiful. Get with some zinc. Yes. For some added protection. You're so care. Okay, this may seem really random, but in the last few clips, I mentioned zinc, which is a type of mineral sunscreen that actually reflects UV rays off of your skin, unlike chemical sunscreen that absorbs it. So for us live aboard sailors, this is a really beneficial switch we've made, incorporating more zinc into our lifestyle for our skin and to just keep us young. <laughs> No, but seriously, we're in the sun so much and it's honestly so needed. So I just went tubing for literally four hours and I cannot tell you how exhausted I am and it took it out of me. So I've kind of just been watching some YouTube videos. It's kind of crazy. There's a lot of chill time in boat life and that's definitely not shown on my videos. There's a lot of time to just like do what you want and I honestly really, really love that. So yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys how exhausting tubing was. Holy moly. 
I had no idea how I would do once Bryce left after spending so much time with him every single day. I definitely miss him. But honestly, I am really just like enjoying this time with my family and it's definitely gonna go by fast. So just trying to like make the most of the time I have here and doing the things that I won't be getting to do for a while, like looking out my window and seeing a beautiful sandy beach with palm trees and blue water. Like it's so normal right now, but I know in the next couple of months it's gonna feel not as normal, so yeah. But I think right now I'm going to paddleboard to the beach, enjoy some fresh pineapple, and show you guys a little bit of this island of St. Martin. Okay, so I made it to the beach on the paddleboard, and I would like everybody to know Ever since Bryce came here, I have been terrified of spiders because of him. He just made it so much worse for me, so Bryce, thank you for that. Now this is my spider stick. I'm gonna be like whacking the bushes like every time I take a step because ever since Bryce came, I start walking into spider webs like it's, it's just terrible. <laughs> currently on a quest to find the perfect spot to enjoy my fresh pineapple with chopsticks. I haven't found it yet, so we're gonna go through there. So those dark red balls are called sea urchins and they are the death of sailors because they're basically everywhere a lot of beaches a lot of coral if you get one in your foot it is so painful they're just like these thick needle spiky ball organism things so my friend nico's dad stepped on one yesterday not fun not fun don't step on one and chopsticks, the best combo. And I'm getting eaten by noceums, but. So later that evening, my boat friends and I decided to take our dinghies and paddle boards out for a sunset cruise. We had a lot of fun just watching the sun go down, listening to music, and hanging out together. I know that watching the sun go down is a shared love worldwide, but ever since we moved onto a sailboat, we've made it a goal to watch the sun go down and to just stop whatever we're doing and kind of be thankful for another day out at sea. And it's been really nice. Good morning, everyone. So today I texted my little boat friend group chat and I was like, does anyone want to go on a dive with me? Because the coral right over there next to our boat is actually really, really good. And we haven't seen good coral we can dive with in a really long time. That's actually one of the positive things about going north is that the sea life is getting better. In the South Caribbean, we have not found the best sea life. So yeah, pretty excited about that because diving is one of my favorite parts about living on a sailboat. My friends Nico and Anna are a brother and sister on a boat and they're from Germany. And we've been hanging out with them the past couple days, so they're gonna come diving. Let's go for a dive. So I recently got sent these fins, which are a huge upgrade from last season. The fins I was using are carbon fiber. I didn't even know that was a thing until I moved onto a sailboat that you can have carbon fiber fins, but they work incredibly well and I definitely can go deeper with these. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you the fins I use. 
And then the mask I use is this tinted one. It takes the reflection off your eyes. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to show you the stuff I use. And then sometimes I'm a wimp and I dive with a wetsuit or like a shorty. But yeah, I don't like to be cold when I'm diving. It like totally ruins it for me. So yeah, call me a wimp, but it works for me. So whatever, whatever. Jumpy jump jump. <laughs> Diving has always been a really special therapeutic activity for me. It's one of the only places where we can fully disconnect from the world and be connected to ourselves. This is called a spotted eagle ray and it's definitely a treat when we find them. Thanks for sticking to the end guys and don't forget to hit that survey in my description to fill it out and stay tuned for next Sunday because I get to sail with somebody who is one of my biggest inspirations out here so see you guys later! Thanks for watching this video. Call it! Shh. Thanks for- Alright girls, we'll see you out there on the water. Bye. You know, you know you're